Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolays at Dawn, a special C test edition. I'm your host, Shadow Fury333, and these next few matches are going to be matches that were played this morning, actually, because there was a bunch of C testing going on because the ship factory has been redesigned. So a lot of testing happened, and we're just going to do a few matches from that test session. Starting out with the match between Nemor and Ikins on Titan Duel. Well, a flooded Titan Duel. Gotta love those little mutators. Anyway, let's get to it. Both Ikins and Nemor going for the ship factory. And nothing really coming out of it so far. Okay, there we go. Starting out with the Hunter, which is redesigned from what it was before. The Hunter used to be... I mean, it used to be basically more of a skirmisher type unit. Now it's... One of the three raiders. This factory now basically has three raiders to it. It's more or less how it's been designed. It's an interesting concept, to say the least. So, once... Okay, we have hunters coming out on both sides. Or no, cutter coming out. So the cutter is basically the new skeeter. What used to be known as the skeeter is now the cutter. It does basically the same thing. Comes in, disarms, that whole thing. It's nothing... Nothing too different. But it is still one of now three raiders. And Corsair coming in. Corsair is the new Typhoon. Instead of using the old machine guns, it now uses shotguns. Much like Scallops do. So Ikin's apparently going... No, Nemo now going for Mariner. Nemo just trying to build everything. But not able to do much with the Hunter. No surprises there thanks to all the cutters going in and disarming it. And also, yeah, like, Ikins with the energy, Nemor without energy, not sure why. It's, it's C. You just, you make wind generators. They're tidal generators in the water. They make 1.2 energy per second. They're super efficient. Like the best things ever. Anyway, Nemor coming in with a Corsair. Ikins with their own Corsair as well, so they will be prepared. Actually, a couple of Corsairs by the time that Nemor gets in. Although, if Nemor's Corsair was up against these cutters, I'm pretty sure it'd win. That'd be the design idea. But another Corsair will be coming in, so we will be able to see how this works out pretty quickly. And Ikins with first shot, coming into those cutters, getting a bit of damage in. Same time, not much... Not much preparation for the Corsair, so... There it comes in, first Corsair volleys. All that shotgunnery. And nothing, nothing stopping it. Wow, okay, goodbye title generators. Urchin's trying to... I mean, it's doing a decent enough job. I think the Corsair won't be able to survive, but still, all that... Actually, no, the energy economy is probably okay. Icons' energy economy... Still fairly healthy. They haven't had enough wind generators further north. Nemo, on the other hand, why are they not building... Do they not just not know the wind gens do the thing? Finally getting that set up. I don't know why they weren't building that. Very bizarre. I really don't know what they were thinking, because why wouldn't you build wind generators? That's just the thing to build. Well, whatever. They are being built now. Nemo is finally getting their energy economy up so they can finally start building things. See, there's quite a few other things that have been changed. The Defender is now Mistral, much smaller little Defender type thing. There's also Siren, which is a new ship that basically does everything. Crusader has been renamed Ronin. Does the same thing without depth charges, and there is still... Well was called Snake, now called Seawolf, which is the submarine. Once again, do the same thing, although one big change, actually, another thing, there's no sonar anymore. Units have vision range, but there's no sonar. So vision range just equals sonar range. Now, this only really affects underwater things, and given that this is shipyard versus shipyard, we don't have any amphibs or anything, it's not as big of a deal. But it is still a thing. The Seawolf is coming out, and that will prove it to be relevant. I believe Seawolves still have slow. Yes, they do. They're basically still snakes. The main change really is that Skeeters got a little bit more damage, got renamed, and Hunters became much cheaper and smaller and lighter weight, as did Defenders. And we haven't seen any Sirens yet. They are a fairly powerful unit, so they will be, they will be meaningful when they come up, but they haven't come up yet. I do want to see them happen, though. I imagine it'll come up once the players get around 30 or so metal per second. I mean, neither player has really exploited the map to any great extent, so I don't imagine we're going to see a whole lot of Siren use quite yet. Anyway, the cutters have gone down, so because, well, riots. Corsairs will beat them. 
Riots beat Raiders. Basic way that things go. However, at the same time, we do have the Serpents coming in here, and... I don't believe Corsairs have any Death Charges. Hunters should. But I don't believe Corsairs do. Nope, just shotguns above service, so there's Corsairs dead in the water! Getting shipwrecked very rapidly. Without any way of stopping it. Hunters coming in, and Hunters do, in do indeed have torpedoes. They can hit submarines. Or they should be able to. They used to be able to, and that is what Nemo is going off of. But that'll most likely remain because torpedoes are still torpedoes and they're still underwater weapons. However, this this half dozen sea wolves coming in here will still be a problem. And Nemo are trying to get out of there, really try to avoid it. But honestly, what they need to do right now is get more construction. Where's their mariner? Oh, there's the commander. Again, they have they have no mariner anymore. They're actually kind of dead. Icons continuing to build up. Their commander also assisting their factory, but. Nemor just accessing like mad. No assistance on their factory. Finally getting it. And there's that siren. There's the siren we were talking about. And that is... That's a pretty heavy ship. So, Ikins relieving the pressure a little bit. Allowing Nemor some room to breathe. And if that siren does what people have been arguing it does. As far as overall overpoweredness. Then that will be... Quite a, that'll be an escape. That'll be a way out of it. Nemo will be able to expand a little more. They do need Mariners, and that's exactly what they're getting. They can get that Mariner up there, build up a few more metal extractors, or rebuild some metal extractors. They'll need to push away the Sea Wolves, of course, but once that's done, they should be fine. However, at the same time, Iken's getting the southwest side of the map. Kind of the south side in general, not really expanding all that quickly. And Iken's getting their own Siren as well. But anyway... Now we're seeing the siren come in, Sonic Gun just blowing everything away. That's all it really has, it's just firing sound. Well, firing water pressure, really, when you think about what Sonic would actually mean. And nope! Does does not save the day at all. Yeah. I guess for underwater combat, it's still not that great. Another siren is being built, but I don't see it doing much. It'll probably help against the Corsair here, but it's not looking that promising against the Serpents. I mean, the Sea Wolves. The Urchin's doing a fine job, but at this point, Ikens is just able to expand as much as they'd like. They haven't really expanded much, though. I'm not sure what they're trying to do, and there's... Okay, never mind. This The Siren does a decent enough job. It does get... I mean, with the Urchin help, does get rid of the Sea Wolves eventually. But yeah... That was, what, a thousand metal so far? I mean, granted, it did help defend eventually, but Nemo is so far behind economically that it's going to be quite the uphill battle to get out of here. There, the one saving grace, of course, is that there is a lot of reclaim. Like, 1,400 metal worth of reclaim? Yeah, that basically pays for all the sirens. Of course, it also requires paying for all the wind generators and metal extractors and everything else that needs to be built. But hey, at least the sirens more or less paid for themselves, kind of, in terms of reclaim. Basically, it blew up in Nemo's territory, so there's that. But Ikins continuing to expand, not really worried about anything so far. They've got their own sirens coming in, and I imagine this will become Siren Spam. Nope! Never mind, Ronin coming in as well. So Ikins not totally going for the Siren Spam. Nemo, however, is going for the Siren Spam. They just want more sirens. I mean, they're kind of a neat-looking unit, and they have... They're new. They haven't really been a unit that's... That's existed in any real capacity in the game before. So, I'm not surprised that they are getting some attention. That being said... Good luck, Nemor, because... I'm not sure how they're supposed to be able to get out of this. For one thing, they have one fewer Siren, and they don't have any other types of units, so we're not looking at type counters either. Whatever those might be. But yeah, there's none of them. They don't exist. And they fail to save the day. The Mariner dies, as does the Corsair that was trying to kill it. But yeah, that's... That's Nemo without any workers. Like, none whatsoever. They have their commander. That's about it. And Ikens reclaiming that field of reclaim I was talking about earlier. So Nemo not even able to get all of it. I mean, it'll help eventually, but... A lot of it's helping Icons. However, that Mariner should be going down on a couple... Of, oh. Ouch. Oh, it must have just had radar. Must have just been radar coverage. Now we have the Micro Wars. Who will micro their sirens better? 
Who will better lure the enemy sailors into their own violent death? And it looks like the answer is Icons, because Nemo is getting all caught together. Actually, I don't know. On the one hand, Nemo's forces were getting caught up together. On the other hand, Icons is spreading them out a little bit, already losing one of the Sirens, about to lose another. And Nemo, slight advantage for Sirens for numbers, but one of them is about to go down as well, so it's still even out. Though the Serpent here distracting the back Siren from Icons, allowing Icons to actually... Actually, allowing Nemo to escape quite handily. Their one injured Siren with 120 health managed to escape. Now it's 3 to 1. Nemo managing to out micro. Nicely done, Nemo. Of course, that doesn't really change the fact that Nemo is way behind overall. But, you know, still. That was some good micro. A little bit shaky at first, but it managed to work out. And yeah, beating four sirens with three. So Nemo with the massive group of sirens coming in against the group of Ronin, which basically the same thing as before, plasma cannons. No depth charges, though. The depth charge has been removed from the Crusader. So that would mean... So well, I'd see sea wolves, maybe. We're not going to see sea wolves, though. Like Nemo going pure on Corsair and Siren, while Icon's going pure Siren as well. I imagine we're going to see a lot of Sirens in these games. They're pretty all-round units, strong units. They're heavyweight units, but that's C for you. C is a lot of heavyweight units. Granted, the redesign added even more small, lightweight units than Rymark's redesign did about a year ago, or a year and a half ago. At any rate, the one downside is that they aren't the most accurate when it comes to dealing with radar. I mean, part of that is radar. Yeah, as artillery is not really working out all that well. I mean, I guess they have actual proper vision, but as a group, no, they need, they need something scouting it out, like a bunch of cutters or the serpents. The serpents also work. Uh. At any rate... Nemo forcing Icons back a bit, but Nemo, you need to build up more. You need to build up more metal extractors. Where are the Mariners? There, there's one. There's this one over here. That's about it that Nemo has. Whereas Icons, they're accessing metal, but they are building up more caretakers. They do have the facilities to use that metal, although this Mariner is being nice and idle. So Icons still ahead, but Nemo managing to pull it back. I don't think it'll work, though. I don't think that little micro game that worked out really well last time is going to work out this time. Although, ooh, almost. Almost got away with it. Nemo is managing to fight... No, no, I was about to say two-on-one, but no. One of theirs is a little too far behind for it to be a proper two-on-one. So Nemo is still getting behind, and they are still going to fall behind more and more as Ikins does produce... Does get their factories going, does get their caretakers on the factories. Setting everything up will be quite effective. And the Ronin's coming in, finally getting some damage dealt. Doing quite a bit as well, actually. Really making life difficult for those Sirens. Although, thanks to Icons grouping up their Sirens rather close, Nemo actually has quite a few free shots in the missiles. Yeah, misses one of them, but it hits the next one behind it. So it's actually working out quite nicely for Nemo once again, and Icons might be losing more... No, they're definitely losing more Sirens. More Sirens going down at the cost of Corsairs. But that was definitely worth it. So once again, Nemo are actually winning that fight again. Yet another win for Nemo, and another skirmish won. And Nemo managing to get their, some reclaim going. They do need more caretakers. They have a decent amount of build power, like 35, uh, 25, 27. 27 and a half build power going into their sea factory. This other caretaker, oh, is just a little bit too far away. Yeah. Oh, I see. It has to be the center of the factory. That is tricky. It's close, but not quite close enough. Another caretaker being built up for reclaim. I mean, that one was clearly built for reclaim. That wasn't built for anything else, but still, it kind of sucks that it's just that little bit too far away. Like, if it was a couple... If it was its length further north, or maybe further northwest, it'd be able to assist the factory no problem, and Nemo would not have accessed at all. And would have been able to turn that into an economic advantage as well, as Nemo goes in for some more harassment. I mean, at the same time, Ikins is harassing over to the north, and that's going to cause a few problems, forcing Nemo to split up their army, or obviously face loss of everything. Well, the Corsair is doing a decent job, getting in each other's way, unfortunately, and the Urchin's able to completely make sure work of them. I mean, the Ronin not doing too much, but 
the opponent didn't have to. The urchin's doing just fine. And bear in mind, Corsairs aren't that expensive. They're relatively normal cost for rides. 220 metal. That's cost of a warrior. It's not super expensive. It is still fairly expensive, but considering that the Ronin are, what, 850? Yeah. That's the cost of a Ravager. I mean, sorry, the cost of a Reaper. Not a Ravager. Ravagers are only, like, 280, I think. No, it's the cost of a Reaper. However, at the same time, Ikins managing to show off their massive production advantage. Nemor's going to have to pull out another one of their micro tricks again for the third time in a row in order to be able to win this. And they are managing... Okay, nice positioning on the Corsairs, surrounding Ikins forces, but unfortunately, these two these two sirens up here for Nemor, they're dead. Ikins losing a couple in the process, though, not, worrying, not paying attention to the Corsairs as much as they probably should. And once again, the numbers even out. Nemor taking full advantage of the fact that these forces that Ikins have are just completely bunched together. There's nothing they can't miss. Like, none of Nemor's sirens can really miss their missile shots. They'll fire at the first one, it'll miss, it'll go to the next one, but if Ikins miss, they hit water. They do nothing. So it kind of sucks there. It really does suck for Ikins, the fact that they have their units clumped up like that, it's not working. They have to make sure they're separated, and Nemo has shown three times so far, three skirmishes in a row, that that's how you do it. However, Ikins switching up to Brawlers, because why not? There really isn't anything here. I mean, there is the, sh well, it was the Shredder, now it is referred to as the Zephyr, which I think is a much more appropriate name. Actually, they're both pretty appropriate. And now we see, this is what I was talking about, Seawolves beating Crusaders. It used to be, used to be Crusaders would beat the crap out of Serpents, but no, Seawolves beat up Ronin because there's not much else can be done there. I mean, really, what are they going to do? They have no depth charges anymore. And that Serpent doing some proper scouting. And this is another thing, because of those missiles, the Sirens will be quite effective at dealing with the Brawlers. Not as effective, obviously, as Zephyrs would be. Actually, not very effective at all. They're... Their missile range is clearly too short. So the Brawler is finally managing to get some headway in for Ikins. And Hunter's coming in, looks like they're trying to get some vision and trying to figure out if there's anything that can be fired upon. But no, they can't really do much other than die. Where are those efforts? There's the first Zephyr coming in. Unfortunately, not enough economy. Everything going into this, rap this Razor right here, which... Doesn't have the range. Oh, okay, just barely now getting the range. There we go. Thought for a second it was out of range, but no, it can't. It doesn't make sense. Still, that razor's taking too much fire for it to be effective. So I don't really see anything other than this Zephyr possibly having a chance. No more sirens coming in, trying to flank out the brawlers, and they are managing to get in range without the brawlers focusing on them. The razor managing to be enough of a distraction. Still, that's gonna be a problem regardless. But finally, they are getting in range. The brawlers. They're not the target? No, it looks like the other Siren is the target. Which is a little weird. I thought these would be Flex AA, but apparently no. However, two Zephyrs coming in, getting rid of the Brawlers very effectively. Remember, a Zephyr is basically two Razors on a platform, on a floating platform. However, the problem is all these Sirens going down. Nemor, all those Sirens they had and they won, they kept alive through very clever micromanagement, have all sunk to the bottom. They're all wrecks. I mean, they can be reclaimed, but they are all, at the moment, Rex. At any rate, Nemo are finally getting enough caretakers near their factory to be able to actually build up efficiently. So once this reclaim really gets going, that is going to be about 40 build power in their factory. So they can get two or three more, well, one or two more Mariners on here. No, they're getting everything on here. Okay, that's getting risky. They're going to excess fast. They only have 30 build power in the factory right now. So all this reclaim is going to turn to excess very shortly. Ah, Ikins, your brawlers. Your brawlers are utterly cruel. The Zephyrs are nowhere to be found. They're still behind. And then that's another siren being knocked to the bottom of the ocean. I mean, the Zephyr's coming in to try to help out a bit, but not going to happen. Unfortunately, not close enough, and Nemor... Still behind production-wise. They do only have 30 metal per second going in, as opposed to Ikens, who has 50 metal per second going in, while Ikens... Wait, really? Yeah, they got 52 build power. They're just not spending it. Oh, right, energy. Energy. No, even then, that, that does not make sense. 
What else are they building? That's... I don't know how they're accessing. They're pushing in so much build power. That's very bizarre. At any rate... This... Is yet another attack here, and Corsairs... Ooh, well, we've seen Corsairs against Sirens work pretty well, but Retreat Micro from Nemor is doing the job. Unfortunately, that's another Zephyr down, so... Opening the way to the Brawlers... And this will be the last shot. There's... This is it. Nemor has no real way of getting out of this. They have hardly any army left. Their Sirens are getting torn apart. The Commander's not really able to do much, but it doesn't matter. The Brawlers finishing this off. And Nemo throwing in the towel. Very, very good fight, though. Very valiant effort. I gotta say, that was... That wasn't quite as lopsided as it looked at first. At first, I thought, oh, Nemo's done. You have no chance. But no, Nemo managed to pull it out. I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't perfect. Obviously, they still lost. But they managed to pull off a lot more than the opening gave me... Well, let... They pulled off far more than the opening convinced me they'd be able to. So I'm very impressed by that. And definitely the Siren Micro. That worked out highly effectively against Iken's pretty much just throwing Sirens away. I mean, if Nemor didn't have half of Iken's economy for most of that game, Nemor probably would have won it. Just by better control. Anyhow, that was the first match. And the next match is going to be on Baron between Marquis and Aquanim, which is going to be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned. <laughs>